You know what? I'm just gonna be really honest. I cannot believe that I'm actually making this video. What is in my hand, you ask? It's a menstrual cup. Hear me out. These are the shit. And your baby girl is a convert. Because if it wasn't obvious, I'm not one of those hippie reusable tampon. Like I like Lux experience. Not reusable shit. Firstly, if you have an IUD, please leave the chat. This is not for you. Let's go back to basics for a second. These bad boys are typically made out of silicone and therefore because of that, there's a low risk of toxic sock syndrome, TSS. And no, this is not supposed to be floating in your knickers. No, this is not supposed to be suctioned to your cervix. It's supposed to sit very nicely in the vaginal canal. The pum pum looks different between the baby girls. And so because of that, there's a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to using menstrual cups. So I've been using menstrual cups for at least six periods now. My opinion is pretty well informed. The first First thing that I didn't realize with menstrual cups is that you can actually keep them in for up to 12 hours. And so because of that, depending on your flow, depending on the size of the cup, you're basically changing it like twice a day, as opposed to bloody tampons that you're changing every five seconds. I particularly love using cups when I'm flying because you can have the reassurance at 10,000 feet that you're not gonna leak all over the place. It's not gonna be a massacre. And so because you can keep it in for 12 hours, what I found myself doing is actually changing it when I'm in the shower. So I have a shower twice a day when I'm on my period, slide it in, take it out, and the lubricant the comfort, the heat of a shower just makes the experience a lot more pleasurable. Also, it's cheaper. And you know, like, whatever, like, I'm good saving £20 a month, like, it's fine. That monthly faff of like, oh my god, do I have enough tampons? Oh my god, do I have enough pads? You don't have that. You literally just need one. If you want to be fancy, two, three, max. These last for like years, if not decades. I believe it's decades. But also, though, I'm not going to lie to you. As you're getting used to the menstrual cup, finding it on the tail end of your period where you're typically more light in flow, if anything goes goes awry, it's fine because you're not going to be exsanguinating all over the bathroom floor. Number two, during the audition phase, and even kind of still till today, I do wear a pad slash panty liner, just in case, just in case. You know when you're on your really paranoid, it just gives that security. But I assure you, once you get used to it, once you've really figured out, you're not going to leave. In terms of my favorite brands, Moon Cup, shit. Honey Pot, amazing. Salt, I'm in love with this. And now I'm not gonna kiss this because whilst I have disinfected it, this has been up my pum pum. So probably not the best idea. I'm happy and willing to do more videos on this because I really wanna level up the girls and this is a way to level up. Lots of love. Society doesn't want you to learn about your body because if you do, then they can't exploit you. As a women's health physician on social media, part of my mission includes liberating the female body, and for me, that means normalizing what is normal. Because our physiology has been hijacked by capitalists, we have been socialized to hate ourselves on a cellular level. Menstruation is normal, but pads and tampons have been labeled as sanitary products, as if menstruation is dirty or unsanitary. They love the female sexual response cycle, but they teach us to be ashamed of the hair that comes with female sexual maturation. They write songs about our body's ability to self-lubricate, but when that goes hand in hand with a smell, they make us second guess our hygiene. They tell us that motherhood is beautiful, but if we tear from birth or if we have a noticeable scar from a C-section, then they want us to be preoccupied with our acceptability as a sexual partner. They teach us to celebrate thelarchy or the development of breasts when we're growing up, and they do the most to make us show them off, but they tell us to be embarrassed once our breasts change as a result of breastfeeding. Capitalism taught us to hate ourselves, and they've been so successful at it that they've deeply ingrained within the culture this incomplete, perverted, exploitable version of female physiology. And it's gross, and it's why I do what I do.
vehicles. Where Oh, you're